All right. So this is your tongue model. This oral cavity is going to be involved in both respiration and digestion. All right. So we have a few things that we need to identify. First, we have four different types of your papilla. Three of them have taste buds. All right. If you see uh, these giant ones in the back that made an inverted V, that's going to be your circumvallate papilla. All right. Then you're going to have these larger ones on the surface of the tongue. So don't get it confused. There's a bunch of tiny little ones, and then there's these larger guys. And there's only a few of those. Those are going to be called your fungiform papilla. All right. Then you have these on the side that look like gills. All right. Those are going to be your foliate papilla. All three of those have taste buds. The only papilla that doesn't is the one that's everywhere. It's the most numerous, and that's going to be called your filiform. Filiform means it fills up the tongue. That's what gives your surface texture of your tongue because you don't want a smooth surface. You want to be able to throw food or air to the back of your throat. <laughs> so you need that, those rised elevations. The only thing about filiform, though, it does not have taste buds. All right, then we're going to go to the side. So here we can see two types of the three glands. Parotid will be back here, which we can't see. It's going to be the largest of the glands. So that one's missing. Over here, you can see this is right underneath the tongue. This is going to be your lingual uh, gland, a sublingual gland, underneath the sublingual. tongue. Sublingual, underneath the tongue. Mm -hmm. See that? So those little ducts, those are your sublingual ducts. Okay. All right. Then you have this one. This is going to be your submandibular gland. So that's what that is. That just means underneath the mandible. Your mandible is going to sit right about here. All right. And then your epiglottis would be right about here if the mm -hmm. throat was connected. All right. Um, the only other thing I can think of yeah. is right here, mm -hmm. we have a tonsil at the base of your tongue. Mm -hmm. That's going to be your lingual tonsil. Anything with lingual refers to tongue. All right. Yeah. That's why when somebody knows multiple languages, they're bilingual, trilingual, basically meaning they use their tongue to enunciate. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so that's the tongue model.